Hey everyone, this is Erin from The Business of Soul Searching, and I, um, usually I launch my podcast on a podcasting platform named Libsyn, um, but I decided to do something a little bit different this week. Um, I feel like I've done a lot of audio and not enough uh, video, and I'm really trying to boost my YouTube account um, and it, with subscriptions and everything like that. So I figured, you know, um, time for a video. Uh, so this week, first of all, it's the last week of August. Where did summer go? Um, and it's like kind of getting chilly in Rhode Island, Mass, New England area. Um, and so, you know, we'll see how fall is going to go. But more importantly, I have been teasing my following um, on Facebook predominantly. I said that I have a surprise, which I do, um, and a lot of people try to guess what the surprise was, and I it's been really hard because I feel like you know it's hard for me to keep secrets, especially from people that I you know love or my family and so on and so forth. So. You know, I brought it up and everyone's like, baby, 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 baby. Like, everyone is thinking that, you know, my husband and I, um, I that we're having a child. And so, um, the surprise is actually that um, I will not be returning to school for the semester at least. I'm taking a break. Um, for those of you that know me personally or have been following me for a while, um, you know that I go to school for uh, clinical mental health counseling. And so, um, so I decided sometime around summer, I had a family meeting with my husband and, you know, I explained to him I'm, I'm burning out, not even just in school, but also for, um, just in this field. And so, you know, I'm explaining to him and it's, and it's very, you know, it can be very scary to start, you know, burning out in a career because I, I've been, you know, involved in this career since 2014, actually before 2014, I graduated with two bachelors in 2014, jumped into a job full time, salary, you know, benefits, all that good stuff. And so, um, when I started doing radio, about like this year <laughs> I'm like uh, 2000 this year so anyways um, I kind of started falling out of love with the mental health counseling field and falling into love with radio and entertainment and all that stuff so um, I think that in regards to me losing motivation and me taking a break I don't think that that's a bad thing um, I'm sure that some people are going to be upset, perhaps. Um, I was scheduled to graduate this year, and I think people were getting like pretty excited about that, but um, career-wise, for me personally, I think that it's important for me to not just follow like my dreams and everything like that, um, but to listen to my higher power and what my higher power is saying and right now i'm just having so much internal resistance whether it's doing my homework or just being passionate about going to work in the mental health field or um you know doing projects like i still kind of feel when i'm doing the projects for my you know when i was taking classes this summer i felt like I was doing it, but it was almost like I was going through the, the motions. And so um, it's funny because, you know, I explained to my husband, you know, I, I want to make this announcement. Like, this is important. One, people are thinking that I'm going to be graduating. And two, um, it's a great lesson because he's very much like, you don't need to tell people about your life and what you're doing. And, you know, why do you always feel like you need to tell everyone everything? And I explained to him um, that, number one, there's people that are stuck in school and feel like they have no other option and that they have since they started going to school that they have to stay in school even if even if they have fallen out of love with that trade and so i make i make this announcement and i like to kind of bring this up for conversation because 
I think that it's relevant to my podcast. My podcast is about, for people that are unaware or just a gentle reminder, um, my podcast is based off of um, people that are taking risks and that are changing kind of, that are pivoting their career path or just taking risks in their their normal life um, and just seeing what's on the other side of their fear and, and being able to kind of tell that story and to inspire other people. And so, um, I think that what I don't want for people is them to be stuck, whether it's a, in a job that they have no business staying in, or if it's school, um, and they need to take a break or they need to stop completely and start a whole nother degree. Um, I support that. I think that, um, it takes, for me personally, it took a little bit of planning, um, I mean, I can stop school whenever I want to stop, but I had to kind of not clear up on my husband, but I have family meetings because, you know, when we got married, it's like we, um, how do I say this? When we got married, we, we became one. So if I quit a job, that means that we have one less income. So I'm not by myself paying my own bill or I am paying my own bills, but there's collected bills also now that we're living together. And so big decisions that I make, whether it's quitting a job or starting a job or uh, stopping school and I'm not graduating this year to get a higher paying job, all of that stuff I try and run by you know, my partner to make sure that um, when he's on the same page and two, I like to hear his feedback of, Hey, this is kind of an impulsive decision. Um, and he also prompts me to, uh, get me to talk about it more so that I can really be like, is this a good idea? Like, is this just like, I'm being lazy and I don't want to do school right now. Um, and so I, you know, challenge other people to take risks and this is probably, uh, one of the biggest risks that I've taken um, and I don't I don't find it to be Overly impulsive. I think that I've been going to school since I was in kindergarten literally I haven't taken a year off it took me six years to do um, my two bachelors and then I've been going to school kind of slowly for my mental health counseling degree um, for now it's three years and so as much as you can get out of school I feel like right now like personally, I feel like first of all, school teaches you how to work for someone else, and I don't want to work for anyone else. I want to transition out of working for someone else into working for myself. And so, um, right now, I just want to put my all and my total focus on my podcast. If that's traveling and flying out and interviewing people, if that's just having the time outside of me working 40, 50, however many hours a week, um, you know you know, being able to just work. And then after that, I can just dedicate all the rest of the, the time to podcasting. I don't have to do homework. I don't have to sit in class for three to six hours a week, plus, you know, plus homework, plus projects, plus, you know, discussion board and all this other stuff. So, um, you know, all of these factors kind of went into my decision. And so just like I challenge other people, there there's things that I, you know, like this was a little bit nerve wracking for me. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not going to be in school. I'm, I, I haven't been just a working person since the, uh, actually since, since ever. This is my first time. <laughs> I just realized I'm like, even in undergrad, I was waitressing and all that. So, um, so yeah, that is my big surprise. I am not pregnant to clear up any rumors on any social media account that I may have. I have baby fever like up the wazoo and people know that if you've been following me. Um, I appreciate that you all are um, excited for my husband and I to start a new chapter and have children and you know I appreciate all the support but that is just not in the cards right now. Um, for us we are kind of very focused as a team on something different. Um, we're still kind of in the, the foundation building stages, um, and so I can't really talk too much about it, but um, you will, if you continue to follow me, uh, find out within the next three to six months, we'll be able to start talking about it. Um, but 
uh, that decision includes not having children right now and not kind of being stuck anywhere or doing anything. Uh, not that babies keep you stuck, but making big financial decisions that keep us, um, you know, stable or stuck in any state or in particular. So, um, so yeah, so that's my kind of check-in for this week. Um, I hope people are really challenging themselves. Oh, I just heard from a, a good friend of mine. Um, I hope people are challenging themselves. I hope you guys are taking calculated risks. Um, I hope you guys are doing something different. Like I said, this is the last week of August. Um, let's close out this summer and just kind of not even just have a great time, but just spiritually make sure that we're all set for the fall um, and we're taken care of and we know what we're, our goals are for business and branding and career wise, um, as well as spiritually, you know, working on ourselves um, inside. And, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week.